once every 365 days, I am called upon to do the most challenging task of my barbering career, cutting my son's hair. No, like seriously, it's, it's, it's that dramatic and challenging at the same damn time. Now I know what you're thinking, Fonz. We don't wanna hear it. What are you talking about? You've been a barber for a while now. He's, he's only two, you got this, he's a great kid. And he is a great kid but you, you just don't understand. See, when you are a barber and you're cutting hair for hours on end, every day, todo dia, for hours on end, you are gonna get to that point where after you are done in the shop, the clippers are down, we're home, and we don't wanna know anything else about clippers till we get back to the shop. Now, last year, it was a little stressful. A little stressful. <laughs> Renzo was a handful on his first cut. You need a, you need to take in consideration a lot of things when you cut somebody this age. You know, you gotta make sure they have their nap. You gotta make sure that the person whose lap they're sitting on, if they need to sit on a lap, has had their nap. You need to make sure both of those people on the chair have eaten their lunches and meals and, and, and are properly hydrated. They need to be at the most calm state possible. Tu vas estar un poco agitado, posiblemente, ¿me entiende? And I don't want to make it worse for myself if the people on this chair aren't in the right state of mind. Yes, Devon, I'm talking about you too, baby. Okay. Te amo. Mucho. So, the main objective with this haircut is to first, obviously, shorten it up, but, mira, there's something that you need to know about my son. My son, like his father, that's me, um, has a big forehead. When you deal with a big forehead, anything past a four, like a five, a five head, este, lo que pasa es que, you know, you don't really want to show it. You got to find ways to frame it best. And because of that, you, you know, you, you either got to have long hair or have long hair. <laughs> so... I keep that in mind. Oh, and and you know, it seems like my son might have uh, some light corners like like me. So you know, might as well start training him to cover it up too. Renzo, hey, hey, Renzo, look. Rizzo, hey! Okay, boys and girls, aquí empezamos con Lorenzo. I have my, it's not really my comb, it's Dre's comb, but Dre's not at the shop, Only, well, he's only at the shop Saturday, so, you know, and we share a lot of stuff. We sanitize, but we share a lot of stuff, and I took one of his combs, because you guys saw my last comb on my last video, He's not doing so good. So we got the tan, light skin comb with the wide teeth on one end and the fine teeth on the other end. And I'm using the wide teeth and I'm just taking a little bit of the curl, little sections at a time. And I'm not even, I'm not even pulling it too much, just enough to clearly see how much I wanna cut off Lorenzo. Tu sabe. And I gotta say, big shout outs to Devon the Bay. You did your thing. Look, we we have been through a lot. And when it comes to, to, to cutting our son, you know, that's that's when our relationship is truly tested. And coronavirus, the shutdown really tested our relationship and in and, and our family. But we got through it. Anyways, I don't know if you guys can see from the from this angle, the back is super squared out. It didn't really have a round shape to it, and uh, I feel like he already has a big forehead. You know, my son really has a big forehead like me, and there's no reason to make his head overall look too big. I don't want my son's head to look overly sized, oversized. So we gotta chop a little bit from that back too. You see how it's a little shaped up? Así mismo. Lo ve. Lo ve. Como un square. Alright, 
I'm not gonna lie, I had to take a break. Which leads us to this next part. He's gonna need a break. Well, actually, both of them. So if you so happen to pass 15 minutes, in most cases, that's when they start filling it. And Lorenzo and Bonda were filling it. More Lorenzo, though. And myself. Maybe my back. A little bit. Because, you know, you, you, you gonna have to move with the punches. ¿Me entiendes? Y si tú no puedes bregar con esto. You okay? Can I get a hug? Mm. Here, hold this Come on. You want me to do it again? Two. Show you again? Two. One. Two. Three. Okay, so at this point, I brought out the five guard. I promised myself that I was gonna do my very best and not use any guards for this haircut because I could tell that the clipper got in the way and it wasn't even so much that he's scared of the clipper. He's obsessed with clippers. He has clippers as toys. He almost would have shears, but I'm gonna have to find him some kid shears because I'm not gonna give him my two-year-old son some scissors, but he is obsessed with wanting to learn how to cut hair. Like he's still out here trying to cut, even without the tools. He's out here going through the motions still. So whenever I turn on clippers, he just wants to use them. I gotta find creative ways over here to make this haircut work. You see why I was stressed out? Cause it was, it was, it was a lot to, to maneuver around, but tu, tu sabe, it's, it's okay. It's okay, we working together. Look, how we ended up in another station. That's what I wanna know. How did we end up in another station, Renzo? We're on Dre station, can we get back to our station? go all right so I don't know why in the past and in the present I'm still lining his sideburns like this kind of give it like that curve I don't go for a direct ice pick but uh yeah I've been giving it the curve I, that might be the last time he's starting to become a big boy so we're gonna have to uh, switch it up yeah this th I didn't care for it this time we're gonna have to redirect that sideburn son just forgive me I didn't mean to do that to you I just you know, I thought it was cute and when you turn one, you know, but you know, the boys aren't cute. They're handsome. So we got we gotta make you handsome next time. I'm not saying you're not handsome here. But you know, I I messed up. I took the L son, I'm sorry. Look at that, look at my little man. We getting close to being done with this haircut and as I see this video almost ending, I'm just thinking about how I really have a son. I have a, a boy, he's two years old now and I still look at him and just wonder like, wow, you're here. We're here together sharing these incredible moments. The whole family, you know, Alea, 
Lorenzo, Devon, and I are so blessed. And it's just incredible to see him grow and, and, and being able to document so many memories. And I, don't, I might not show it so much on this channel, but I have them. I have so many files and it's just incredible to see this. Yeah, this is the cut right here. You know, I, I kept this simple. I My son is all over the place and I truly feel that kids are, are meant to be kids and to give them like the most high maintenance cuts it's just like it's unrealistic in my in my eyes i think that he's too wild and moves way too much as he should though as he should for a high maintenance cut he's not gonna get any fade anytime soon just understand that as you get older i'll start cutting you more often i promise just understand that, you know, for a child that moves as often as you do, you know, it's only so much energy I have for you, son. I love you, though, son. I love you. Renzo, pound it. Pound it. Right there. Right there. Right there, Renzo. You know what to do, son. Right there. Pound it and... Renzo!